Good morning and welcome to St. Matthew's on this Thursday, the 17th day of December. This morning we'll uh, look at two prophetic witnesses who are in our uh, biography today during a morning prayer. Our service begins on page 42 of the prayer book. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with the Invitatory Psalm. This morning we will read together the Venite, found on page 44. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. We continue with the psalm appointed for today. This morning that is psalm number 82, which begins on page 705 of the prayer book. God takes his stand in the council of heaven. He gives judgment in the midst of the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and show favor to the wicked? Save the weak and the orphan. Defend the humble and needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Deliver them from the power of the wicked. They do not know, neither do they understand. They go about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Now I say to you, you are gods, and all of you children of the Most High. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals, and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, and rule the earth, for you shall take all nations for your own. We continue with the Gospel assigned for today, and it comes to us from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, uh, beginning at the 25th verse. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians and had spent all that she had. And she was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. For she said, if I but touch his clothes, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhaging stopped. And she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. Immediately aware of the power that had gone forth from him, Jesus turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing in on you. How can you say, Who touched me? He looked all around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling, fell down before him, and told him the whole truth. He said to her daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. The word of the Lord. We continue with Canticle 6, Gloria in Excelsis. Glory be to God on high and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord, Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. This morning we'll learn a little bit more about <clears throat> William Lloyd Garrison and Maria Stewart. 
William Lloyd Garrison was born in Newburyport, Massachusetts in the year 1805. His father, a sailor, had abandoned the family when he was five years old. His experience of poverty at a young age awakened in him a religious zeal for justice and a hatred for slavery. After working on a Quaker periodical in Baltimore, Garrison returned to Boston and with the help of the black community started his own anti-slavery paper, The Liberator. His proclamation of purpose in the first issue became famous around the country. On the subject of slavery, I do not wish to think or to speak or to write with moderation. No, no. Tell a man whose house is on fire to give a moderate alarm. But urge me not to use moderation in, the, in a cause like the present. The Liberator came to be the dominant voice in the abolitionist movement, demanding immediate emancipation without compensation to slave owners. Garrison invoked the ire and rage of people all over the country, particularly in state, slaveholding states. In the year 1835, an angry mob attacked Garrison, who was jailed for his own safety. In what was a radical policy for the time, Garrison opened up his columns to black and female writers. Among those to respond to his call was Maria W. Stewart, a freeborn African-American woman who showed up at his <coughs> office <coughs> excuse me, in the year 1831 with several essays that were published in The Liberator. Born in Hartford, Connecticut, Stewart was orphaned at the age of five and grew up in the home of a white minister. She married James W. Stewart, a successful shipping outfitter, but was widowed just three years later. Soon after, she experienced a religious conversion and responded with her vigorous anti-slavery advocacy. Her efforts called upon African Americans in the South to rise up against slavery and for Northern Blacks to resist racial restrictions. When her speaking career ended after three years, she became a school teacher and the head matron of Freedom's Hospital in Washington, D.C., which was later to become Howard University. We continue our service by reading together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. We begin with the Lord's Prayer, followed by Suffrages A. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. We continue with the colics. O God, in whose service alone is perfect freedom, we offer thanks for thy prophets William Lloyd Garrison and Maria Stewart, who testify that we are made not by the color of our skin, but by the principle formed in our soul. 
the lost like them, with the hope and determination to break every chain of enslavement, that bondage and ignorance may melt like wax before flame, and we may build that community of justice and love which is founded on Jesus Christ, our cornerstone, who with thee and the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray thee so to guide and govern us by thy Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget thee, but may remember that we are ever walking in thy sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who has made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and did send thy blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near, <clears throat> grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee, bring the nations into thy fold, pour out thy Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Take a moment to offer your prayers and thanksgivings this day. We give thanks for those who have championed the cause of racial equity and freedom. We pray for our country and for the world. We pray for all those whose lives are closely linked to ours. We pray those for us who especially need our prayers, those who are recovering from sickness or illness, those dealing with disease, with injury or with loneliness. We give thanks for the blessings that you've given us, the blessings of friendship, of family and friends. Take a moment to offer our own individual prayers of thanksgiving. Gracious God, for all our prayers spoken and those that reside deep in our hearts, we lift them up to you this day. We conclude our prayers by saying together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining morning prayer today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.